that is a tax where those who believe themselves taxed are generally exempt and those who believe themselves exempt are generally taxed. This is a quote I came across several years back, but which resonates with me on a daily basis, especially when I am assisting clients in the banking and financial services sphere, insurance companies, and certain gambling operators. When discussing VAT matters with these businesses, one of the main topics on the agenda is VAT cost. VAT cost purely because these businesses are engaged in exempt without credit supplies. And one of the main questions that I ask is whether these businesses buy in supplies from related companies. Why? Because when businesses engaged in exempt without credit supplies buy in supplies from related companies, that results in a self-induced VAT cost. A self-induced VAT cost that may be mitigated via VAT grouping. VAT grouping is a situation where more than one business are considered as one taxable person from a VAT perspective, with the implication that flows between members of the same VAT group fall outside scope of VAT. Let's take a simple example. Let's say that there's a holding company, Holdco, and this Holdco has two subsidiaries, an insurance company, Insurance Co, and a services company, Services Co. Insurance Co engages in the supply of insurance to clients within the EU. Services Co provides back office services to Insurance Co and also engages employees. On a periodic basis, Services Co charges a fee to Insurance Co. This periodic charge from Services Co to Insurance Co, in the absence of a VAT group, results in a VAT cost for Insurance Co. With VAT grouping, if Insurance Co and Service Co form a VAT group, the flow from Service Co to Insurance Co will fall outside scope of VAT. Therefore, VAT grouping is a very relevant VAT saving solution. It is not the holy grail, because from a practical perspective, there are additional considerations to be taken into account. But when applied properly and in the right context, it may result in material VAT savings.